It is Frankie Boyer joining us now and is Dr. Alice Fong. And Dr. Alice Fong is talking about ways to handle the stress and more importantly, how do we get that weight off us? And she is an integrative naturopathic doctor. She specializes in, in stress, integrative medicine, diet, and weight loss. And it's so nice to have you with us, doctor. Yeah, it's so nice to be with you, Frankie. I appreciate you having me on your show. Today, the days will be a little bit longer. Thank mm. goodness, because this 415 sunset was just like a bit much, don't you think? Oh, I, <laughs> I don't know about agree. all of you, but oh my gosh, it was too much for me. Uh, but you say oh, get a no. light therapy box. Yes, light therapy makes such a difference. It's so depressing when it gets dark at four. My dogs are sad, you know, because I don't have time to get them to the park at that point and it's it's just you you gotta make do and it's light makes such a big difference when we're in the summertime so to have it uh in the winter only makes sense when it's so dark and gloomy and i know that nick was just talking about how clean we have to be with our food explain to me what that's all about because i mean we we just cannot play games anymore with our food especially right now with covid COVID in our state is at, is at an all-time high. The numbers are crazy. The emergency rooms are, are so full. Um, mm. People are just getting this disease, this, this virus, at a ridiculous pace. And so mm -hmm. now is not the time to let down your guard, even though it's the holiday. So share with us a little bit about some of the food tips that you have recommended for us. Yeah, as far as food, I think it's, you know, it's, it's, it is a time of celebration and it's okay to, you know, enjoy a little piece of cake or a cookie here and there, but it, it doesn't give you free reign to just eat whatever you want. I mean, you can, but if you really want to take care of your health and well-being and reduce your likelihood of giving COVID or any other type of illness, you want to stay on top of eating clean, eating whole less non-processed foods, vegetables, getting that. And so it's just like only eating like a cheat here and there for special occasions, that's fine, but don't just decide, well, if I'm going to fall off the wagon, I might really go all in, you know? <laughs> right, right. Uh, you know, I don't believe that at this time, I think that for many people, you know, you, you see, I think, doctor, we, we were not aware at the very beginning of this, that COVID was going to take over. We were not aware. Absolutely. We had no clue mm -hmm. that it was going to be a year later and we're still in in isolation. We're still locked down. We're still restricted. And so the first month or so, everybody was eating everything and having a grand old time. And we didn't understand what we know today. Mm -hmm. We know too much today to understand that we just can't throw it all into the into the uh, water. You know, as you say, if you want to survive and really thrive during these times, it's important that you understand very much um, what this is all about and, and how important it is to stay clean and mean during the mm -hmm. holidays this year. And, you know, um, keep the food healthy. Keep it as healthy as you possibly can. So, um, anyway, um, I'm just uh, concerned that people do not take it to the next level. In other words, I don't want anyone out there listening thinking it's okay to eat that bag of chocolate chip cookies. That, mm -hmm. And I, I just uh, I don't want people to interpret the what you're saying in any other way. Right. Yeah, yeah, and it's it's again, it's like you got to keep it out of your house, and you got to restrict it. Don't just go to town wherever you are. It's it's being it's like it's strength and moderation, really, and being mindful. I think it's more important to just be mindful of what you're putting in your body. I think when it's around us and you're just kind of shoving everything into your face, you're not being so mindful. So you know, paying attention of is this really fueling my body is this like nourishing my body helping it thrive or is it kind of hurting my body and you know yeah, a little yeah. here and there 
okay, your body can recover. But if it's constantly exposed to that, then it's going to take longer for it to kind of get back to that healthy state of my body. Yeah. Tell me, I, I take an, an Epsom salts bath every single night. I love my tubs. I, I have oh. so much fun with mm-hmm. all the essential oils and I have a lot of fun with them. And it's what I do every single night. I can't imagine without I can't imagine my life without that it's just such such an important ritual that I've created for myself years ago years and years and years ago Mm -hmm. I love that you you have that as a self-care ritual I think that's so important it's not everyone does and they get caught up in like giving 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 and running themselves ragged they don't take that time for you so I really admire that you you do that time some people might be like oh how do you have time to do that but I think you, you have to really make the time for it. It doesn't just magically appear at that time because there's always things to do. But when you make that time to take care of you, that's how you kind of refuel yourself so you can keep going in life. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. That's really very, very important. Um, sleep, obviously, we can't stress enough about sleep. We all know that if if we want to, we must, we must, we must get um, a tremendous amount of sleep and you know I don't I don't know too many people that get eight, get eight to nine hours sleep but occasionally if you if you do good for you good for you <laughs> congratulations <laughs> it's mm-hmm. impressive that's impressive yeah. I have a friend who I have a friend who called me the other night and she said I cannot believe I slept nine hours nine hours I can't believe I did that and you know occasionally if your body wants you to sleep nine hours, then you go for it. You know, if you don't have to get up in the morning and your body is telling you, stay in bed and sleep in, definitely you go for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Our body has an intuition. And, you know, if you're tired all the time, then you have to consider that you're not getting enough sleep. And for me, oh man, when I get nine hours, it's, it's like, a vacation if I happen really. I, I love that. And I have a, a Fitbit watch. And so I can see like when I literally get I need at least seven hours. If if I'm less than seven, I'm I'm not as productive. I'm not as focused. I'm might be a little grumpy potentially. <laughs> so, so it's better for everyone if I get at least seven hours. But if I get eight or nine, it's just like yeah, it's it's an incredible and I, I feel like I can like conquer the world. <laughs> Wow. Good. But what is acceptable? At least seven, six and a half hours? It actually kind of depends. There's there's studies that show that people, like individuals, there's some people that can actually function really well on four to six hours. A rare few. Some people think they they are those people, but they're not. (laughs) So you have to like really determine and do a little experiment to really see what your sleep ratio is best for you and maybe getting like a a Fitbit watch to kind of track your sleep score essentially uh if I'm I know if I get at least seven hours my sleep score I get actually a pretty good sleep score of like in the 80s occasionally 90s if it's like if I get that nine hours which is rare (laughs) but I love it and I feel good when I do that so it's just kind of monitoring um you know having some sort of mechanism to measure measure to really see are you getting quality sleep that's the real right, thing right, people right. Can get eight hours but they're tossing and turning all night and right, that doesn't right. really have them wake up refreshed so it, well, it depends this, right and so this has been really terrific um what's the best website we where can people find out more about you dr alice fong give us yeah, your website they can find please at uh www.dralicefong.com that's dr alice fong f-o-n-g Wonderful. Thank you so much for being with us. I really yeah, appreciate you your, your time today. Thank you right. so much.